It was a visibly frail and sick Ronnie Biggs, seen here on his 80th birthday, who'd been freed on compassionate grounds just a few days earlier. A far cry from the gregarious and unrepentant figure whose decades on the run made him a household name. But eventually he'd been forced to return to Britain for medical treatment and the jail term he'd evaded for so long. Ronnie Biggs was part of the gang who robbed the Glasgow to London mail train at Leadburn in Buckinghamshire in August 1963. They made off with two and a half million pounds and the train driver, knocked unconscious, never fully recovered. Convicted and sentenced to 30 years, Biggs escaped by scaling the wall of Wandsworth Prison and lowering himself into a waiting van. It was to be another 36 years before he was back behind bars. He made his way to Brazil, but was incapable of keeping a low profile, and in 1974 came close to being extradited to Britain. Then he had a son by his girlfriend, and under Brazilian law, Biggs was safe. There was another narrow escape when he was kidnapped by bounty hunters, but once again emerged triumphant. He made a living by exploiting his notoriety, though his role in the robbery had been a minor one. If he was a real villain, I would say bring him back if he's 91 years of age. But as far as I'm concerned, uh, he was a T-boy, second class. By the late 90s, his health was deteriorating. He suffered a series of strokes, and finally, with the help of a tabloid newspaper, he flew home. Back in jail, his attempts to get parole were unsuccessful until the Justice Secretary released him to a nursing home close to his family. My father shook hands with all the prison guards and as they all said goodbye, he just went, go away. So, it, you know, it was a pretty special moment. Ronnie Biggs spent nearly four decades avoiding justice, a life as flamboyant as it was defiant. I don't regret the fact that I was involved in the train robbery and uh, as a matter of fact I'm quite pleased with the, the idea that I was involved in it. Why? Well, because it's given me a little, a little place in history, shall we say, you know, I've, I've made a mark for myself. My poor old daddy used to say to me, I know you're, you'll make good one day, you know, but I made good in a curious way, I suppose, you know, I mean, I became infamous. <laughs>